Depression is traditionally treated with medication, but new evidence suggests that particular foods and nutrients may be highly influential as well. This could be revolutionary considering that less than half of those actually receive any formal medical treatment. In this video, I'm looking at what foods and nutrients are scientifically shown to help. First and most importantly, I want to make this super clear that although they're not perfect, uh, pharmaceutical antidepressants and other medications are a fundamental part of treating severe depression. You should certainly not stop taking any medication without first speaking with your doctor because they are really important. In fact, almost all the supplements I'm about to mention actually enhance the effectiveness of antidepressants. So it seems that medications and natural remedies actually work together synergistically. St. John's wort. St. John's wort is a medicinal herb with powerful anti-inflammatory and antidepressant properties. A major Cochrane review, including 5,489 patients with major depression, concluded that St. John's wort extract is superior to placebo in patients with major depression, is similarly effective as standard antidepressants, so SSRIs and TCAs, and has fewer side effects than standard antidepressants although there are some non-responders. The caveat is that St. John's wort should not be taken alongside antidepressants. This is because it's known to interact with many medications, particularly those for serotonin signaling in the brain. Therefore, it's more of a potential alternative to antidepressants, perhaps when they are not so suitable, such as in very young children or very mild cases of depression. Zinc. Zinc is an essential mineral that appears to interact with neurons in the brain. Those with depression tend to have lower zinc levels than normal. Now studies show that zinc supplementation alongside antidepressants can help reduce depressive symptoms in as little as 12 weeks. In fact, zinc therapy on its own may even improve symptoms. Supplements are most useful in this circumstance, but it's also recommended to eat a variety of zinc rich foods, including oysters and shellfish, meat, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Fish oil. Fish oil, particularly the supplements, are very rich in omega-3 fatty acids, specifically DHA and EPA. Large review studies consistently find that fish oil, especially EPA, is useful in treating severe depression. It seems to improve the effectiveness of antidepressants by up to 30%. The evidence is less conclusive among cases of minor depression though. Saffron. Now this was a surprising find when I was researching this topic. There have been several well-designed studies using saffron extract to help treat depression or minimize the side effects of antidepressants. In fact, two studies of depression patients found that both saffron extract and saffron petal extract performed equally to an SSRI in reducing depressive symptoms. The evidence right now is not as solid as it is for other supplements, so I wouldn't get carried away just yet. Plus, saffron is the world's most expensive spice, so yeah, there's that. Lastly, I just want to say that you don't have to deal with depression on your own. Speaking out about it can typically be a tremendous help, whether that's speaking with a professional or some friends or family members. For more information on dietary treatment of depression, uh, including the dosages for the supplements that I just spoke about, you can click the link in the YouTube card or follow the link in the video's description. That's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this information useful, please give the video a thumbs up and you can ask questions in the comments. And if you haven't already, I would love if you would click the red button below this video and subscribe to the Diet vs. Disease YouTube channel.